Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing one of the videos that you guys have all been asking for for some time now. So this is going to be a range extender video. So what I'm going to do is exactly what you've asked for. So I'm going to use the para yagis combined with the yagis, okay, or the para yagis if you wish. Um, so let's have a look at the para yagis and uh, let's get started with the video. Right, so what you're probably used to so far are these uh, Yagis. So these are the copper variety, um, which you'll see on range tests. Now, if you haven't already seen my video on these, um, I do test out parabolics versus Yagis. I test out um, different metals, so the coppers against the aluminiums against the brass. The coppers won, hence they're in my bag. But what we have here is we have the para Yagis. And if you can see the uh, word in there, okay um so what i will do is i will put a link in the description below of where you get these from so as you can see they're a combination of copper yaggies and the parabolic reflectors okay so this is the one you've all been asking for now just to reiterate i would like to say um on this video guys that um i'm not going to get a huge amount of range okay the reason i'm not going to get a huge amount of range is purely because i'm going to be flying back on this journey um, I will be doing a second video where I fly to zero battery or as as close as possible um, so basically I don't have to fly all the way back but we'll see how far we get anywhere with these so let's crack on right so we have the Parayagis mounted on the controller okay looking good there so let's start the flight right so we're just going to check we're in airplane mode which we are and then put ourselves in a manual transmission channel 9 for this one right so we're going to go ahead and take off and we're up in here. So we're gonna fly out in sport mode as fast as possible. Now, I have done this test uh, versus, so sport mode versus um, position mode. Um, and I can tell you that what I found is sport mode does use less battery, whether it's more efficient or not, I don't know, but uh, it does use less battery. So you can check that uh, test out. There'll be a card at the end of this video. So straight up to our normal altitude then of 70 meters or so. Um, as you can see, I'm at 72 at the moment. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit. Um, basically, the reason why I'm sticking at 70 meters um, is simply because other tests I have done, whether I'm testing the parabolics versus stock, or whether I'm doing the Yagi's test or the Yagi against parabolics, whichever, I've always done it at 70 meters, um, give or take, um, just to ensure consistency. So that's 500 meters already done. Set at our 70 meters. Just making sure we are recording there because I've done that before. Obviously, I am just using a screen recording for this one. Um, I don't actually need the camera. And also, just a little uh, bugbear of mine at the moment is people always going on about ND filters. Literally not necessary, but that's another... That's another story. So we're on 86% battery. Uh, we're closing in on that 1,000 meters. Um, as you can see, we are in sport mode and we're only hitting around 9.2 meters per second, basically meaning we are heading into the wind. So just to let you know, guys, what I have done, I have already done a test flight prior to this one um, using these Parayagis. Now, the reason I did that is just for sort of information purposes, just to check out the wind. So I know that the wind is behind me and basically for information that I can push these Yagis, um, sorry, push these para Yagis a little bit further on the battery, um, knowing fine well that I do have a bit of wind behind me on the way back. So it's all in the name of science, I'm sure. So 1,300 metres gone. So basically, I do need to check, um, but I believe my very maximum I've ever done is around 4,300 metres. And that was with these uh, copper Yaggies uh, that you saw at the beginning of this video when I did the test, as I've already mentioned, against the, uh, the different metals used for those. So these... Uh, Obviously, Parayagis, um, I are made by another YouTuber. As I've already mentioned, I'm going to put his uh, name in the description below alongside his channel. 
so you can go and test these out for yourself. Um, I'm not on a commission for selling these. I've had these about two and a half months. Um, I've just been very busy. Um, obviously doing the, uh, the other Mavic Mini test that I have done. But you guys have been asking for this one um, numerous times in the comment section. So I knew I had to come and give you something. So yeah, this is the flight I'm giving you right now. So just to reiterate, like I've said before, this isn't going to be a final test. Um, this is just a test where I know that I can get back. Um, I want to beat what I've done on the Yagis just to prove that these work. The normal Yagis were the copper versions. They got me, as I said, about 3, 000, uh, sorry, 4,300 meters. But uh, these, I would expect to beat those. Um, I did get a little bit of interference on that flight which obviously you can see. But uh, so far on this one, absolutely nothing. So we're approaching that 2,500 metres. I, I expect we'll pass that no problem. Some nice scenic views around here, as you can see. Picking up those satellites now, we did start with uh, only 10. We seem to be picking them up now, which is good. Nice smooth flight. It is worth noting actually that uh, on UAV forecast it just shows it can't be trusted because it, the forecast for wind at the moment in this location was around one miles per hour. So very, very little, which is why I thought it'd be a, a great uh, time to do a range test to, you know, to maximize our battery life. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case and uh, it is blowing a little bit. Nope, we don't want any of that. We want to continue. I do understand that uh, the drone thinks that uh, we're going to struggle to get back, but I already have done my research and I know the wind is behind us. So that's not going to be a problem. I reckon, guys, I'm going to take this to about 40% battery. Um, you know, I used around 20% to 25% last time to get back. So, hopefully I'll get a similar result. Speed does seem to be picking up a little bit, as you can see. But we're still about 2 metres per second down. Now, 2 metres is, is a decent chunk to be down. But we are breaking at 3,500 metres. For information, actually, uh, obviously you will see, if you've watched my previous videos... Um, 3,500 meters is about the maximum I can get on the parabolic reflectors on their own. And the Yag is around 4,300 meters. So we're down to over 51% battery. It's going to be tight, 4,000 meters. Really, I want to beat the Yagis, and if I can, I want to push it to 5,000 meters. Now, given the, given the fact we're only on 49% battery now, and I want to go another 1,000 meters, this is going to be a, this is going to be a lot of fun. But we'll crack on. Still got smooth camera gimbal movements. Come on. Incidentally, guys, I've actually walked to this uh, path. I don't know if you can see, but it is actually raised. And that's actually a path that runs right along the coastline. I've actually walked that in the summer, um, so hence me knowing this route and knowing it's accessible. And obviously, given, because it is a walking route, gives me a place to land. Should there be any issues? Come on, 4,600 metres, 43% battery. This is getting scary.
I'm well more than half my battery gone and I still need to get home and I'm still carried on. I want that 5,000 metres. Come on. I can do this. The minute it hits 5,000, which I'm assuming it will, given the fact that uh, we've still got a full RC signal there, I am turning back. 40% battery. Ugh. Oh, hell. This is going to be a laugh. Here we go. Here we go. We've done it. 5,000 metres. Right. Spin round. Let's get back. Got 38% battery to get back. Oh. So it took us 62% battery to get there. And I've only got 38% battery to get back. But I do have the wind behind us. And you can see I'm doing 13 metres per second. Right, guys. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to fly back. And let's cut to uh, the conclusion. Right, everybody, what do you make to that? So the Parayagis. Uh, seem to have done a really really good job there so that was um, as you saw 5,000 meters um, and that's 5,000 meters um, struggling against the wind on the way there etc and as you saw there was not a single um, drop in signal no drop in reception literally nothing so it looks like these are a really really good option guys now they're not cheap like I said I will link to the description uh, sorry, we'll link in the description uh, where you can buy these. But yeah, really, really good this combination of uh, parabolic reflectors and uh, Yagi antennas. Um, really, you know, looking forward to the next video. That will be my final range test video, the next one. So what I'm going to do in the next one is I'm going to fly these um, to the point where I can land them um, with somebody else. Um, so basically I don't need to worry about battery life so thank you very much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos as well thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one